The pull is a very frustrating shot, but aren't all bad shots frustrating? Today, I'm going to show you how to remedy. As usual, we have got the four boxes up, the attack angle, the club path, the face angle, and the face to path. These are the four boxes that you need to be most intimate with. The pull is quite simply a path and a face line that are aligned to the left. Now it's really, really important to distinguish between a pull draw, which is what that is, the club path was pointing to the left, the face was another 5.3 degrees to the left of the path. So the path was six degrees to the left, the face angle was closed 11.3. The gap between the face and the path was 5.3. That's why it was a pull draw. The other pull is the straight pull. A path going to the left and a face that matches that line of path. So I want to see a face to path value of as close to zero as possible. Hard shot to pull off actually. But the face to path is the ingredient, if you are struggling with a pull, that you need to change first. And that's why this shot, remedying the pull, is so difficult. Because when someone pulls it, what they believe they need to do is simply shift their path from the inside. What they then end up doing is they shift their path from the inside, they do shift their path, but at the same time, they now lose the value of the face to the path. They then shift the path from the inside and the face is now left open. So I've shifted the face to path value from a negative value or close to zero to a positive value. But what I've really done is shifted the path to the right. The way to remedy a pull is that you need to make your face to path value like the very first shot I hit. A face needs to be closed to your path. And I'll make, uh, I'll make you understand why that is to be the case. If we don't see a golf ball, start left and have plenty of bend to the left, we will never feel comfortable that when we do eventually find the ingredient that allows us to straighten up our path, will we then see the ball draw back to target? So the face to path value has to be more negative. You need to see the ball actually bend left. And, I, and it's often people say, you know, come on the mat and they talk about, well, I've got myself a pull. And I say, is it a pull or is it a pull draw? Does it start left and bend or does it start left and stay left? A lot of the time, people will say it bends left as well. And most of the time when they come on the mat, it's just a straight pull. And they might even see a little bit of fade. Because if you don't get the face to path value negative, you will never be able to change your path. So the face to path is where you need to put all of your attention to start with to fix your draw. Now, here are three ingredients that you need to look at to make the face to path value more negative. Top of the pile, number one, get the club more in the fingers of your left hand. When you put the left hand down, more crease here. That's number one. So I go from a weak hold coming across it, trying to square the club face up, outside in, nine degrees, face is square to the path, you see the face to path value is zero, I've got myself a flat pull. Now what I want to do, change the grip, in the fingers, pad of the hand, I'm now going to swing over the top, outside in, call it what you will, but now, I've got a face to path that's more negative, 10 degrees. At that point, it now allows me to do whatever I believe is the right way to change my path line 
and you'll get the path from the inside with a face close to the path and you'll hit a draw. So number one, the grip. That's how you will change the face to path value. Number two, to get the face more closed in your backswing, we want you to feel that on takeaway, your right forearm stays more on top of your left forearm. If your grip is good, you won't need to do this. But if your grip is mediocre, making your right arm feel like it stays on top of your left forearm will give you the opportunity to feel like the club face stays more closed to your path. So that's number two. And then the other ingredient, the other ingredient that is going to allow you to feel that your face is more closed to the path line and as a complete sensation is simply set yourself up, close the face and put your usual grip on. And now turn your hands back to line the face up straight. So I'm gonna set myself up. Let's say you're just your usual setup. Lift the club head up, close it by 15, 20 degrees. Then put your usual grip back on. Now rotate your forearms back to where the face is now pointing straight. Now make a swing. And what you'll see is a face to path value that then is meteorically closed. If you're tired of paying too much for premium leather gloves, please head over to my channel sponsor, GX Golf Gloves, and check out their great range of gloves that are trusted by tour players and elite amateurs alike. Use my code GOODCOACHING to receive 10% off your next order. Once you've changed your face to path value to a negative, you are now in a situation that allows the club path to change. Once you've got yourself in a negative face to path value, now you need to change your club path. And I'm gonna put a link down below for two videos that will allow you to change your club path as easy as ABC. Hopefully that's given you some insight into changing the ingredient that will fix your pull to then allow you to change your path to get that ball started down the right and draw. I think you'll find that's good coaching. See you next time.